All right, guys, welcome back. So far, good win last time. Close against Sharpedo. Sharpedo. And then uh, before that, I had uh, that Mamma Swine Charizard sweep. And then we lost to Dark Voice Miracle three games ago. So that was not bueno. Let's get in here. Let's show them the strength that is Charizard Mamma Swine. Because the strength is real. I will pull up my little screen for you guys. Got some good, interesting uh, rating info right there. I have not updated my Mammoth Swine. I haven't done anything I should. I should really go get Icicle Spear, because if it's not frickin' Scarf Smurgle, I'll kill it. Dude, F Smart <laughs> Smarf's Skurgle. Hate that thing. Con artist is the worst. You know, like Smeargle, Kangaskhan, Con artist. They're the worst. Hate them. I want to play one right now, actually. We'll show them. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'll show them. Do you get the Lum? How could I beat it? How could I beat it? If Hospritzy. Oh, looking for Hospritzy. Oh, okay. Well, you're in the wrong place to do that. Oh, God. Little Boy Blue right there. He's got a cat. He's got two Mega Options. Both of those definitely are Mega. Both, like, it's so funny. The top two Megas, both are, like, pretty much useless without their Mega Stone. Um, looking like a very good, solid, standard team here, Gene Mark. I applaud you. I could go Charizard Gyarados. That'd be pretty cool. Am I going to need Venusaur here? That's a tough one. It doesn't do a lot against that Mawile at all, or that Agislash. I could definitely bring Garchomp. Garchomp Adop. And, like, I like, I'm pretty partial to Rotom Wash. I don't know. That could be my downfall. No, I think it's all decent. Agislash played right. So scary. So scary. I think scariest Pokemon in the game, actually. You just do not want to stare down a subbed weakness policy Agislash after having activated weakness policy and being behind a sub. That's the worst. There's an Edge and there is Khan. So far, pretty decent lead here for me. Um, at that minus one, I should be able to eat up whatever's going down. Is he going to switch for sure? It's like that Agislash does not want to deal with anything out here. Um, what is he switching to? What is he switching to? What is he switching to? What did he have? He had the Rotom Wash. Either way, we're going to try to get rid of this Kangaskhan, honestly. As I Dragon Dance. Well, if I dance, no. I don't want to dance. I definitely want to put pressure on the incoming Rotom Wash. How am I going to do that? I can either use my own... I can put my own Garchomp in here. Or my own Rotom Wash. Uh-oh. Garchomp it is. He's probably going to fake out Charizard. And switch. Well, if he thinks it turns out, he doesn't need to switch this turn. That's That'll give me pressure with this Earthquake here, though, so that'll be decent. He may have just doubled up on Charizard. That'd be pretty lame sauce. Yeah, his edge will stay in if he fakes out Charizard. I should serve out the fake out and an attack, though. Good stuff. Okay. Incoming Sucker Punch. As I'm going to Earthquake the field. Send in Rotom, get some offensive pressure. You don't want anything out here that's getting threatened and get KO'd because then you can't attack. You don't want that. 
Sure, shield up, bro. Shield up. Fake out con usually does not run. Yeah, there's the sucker punch. He's gonna have to make a, a play now. He's got the talent flame back there, but do you switch talent flame into these two? No. I mean. What's coming on that Agis Slash spot? What else do you have? He had a pretty standard. Oh, he had Rotom Wash. Um. Yeah, let's see if he uh, definitely don't want to like activate a weakness policy or anything. That would suck. And if it does stay in, I'll go with the rock side here. I'll tell you why. Flinch chance. Also, don't want to. Okay, he's not weakness policy, or at least he doesn't want to take the earthquake. And if he did stay in, he probably wasn't. Yeah. See, and the Rotom. That's why I want a rock slide right here. Let's go. Uh, I got a burn coming on to Kangaskhan, hopefully. There's the flinch chance, guys. So dirty. 30%. Don't mess with it. Hopefully that's not facade Kangaskhan. Those are scary. Uh, I do got the Lumberry, so I'm not afraid of this Rotom. Uh, at best, he can power up punch now. He's at minus one already, though, so let's go double up on this. Poor unsuspecting Rotom Wash. Ooh! That was good. He's gonna take my rough skin. I didn't think that was. Maybe he's trying to get. He's trying to get it off the field. He's got the Agile Slash. I have Charizard in the back. Probably not running Shadow Sneak. Probably running the substitute version. Oh, that's lovely. That's awesome. When your opponent's got something useless on the field, just leave it leave it up. Um, Sucker Punch definitely heading towards Rotom. So I'll Will Wisp and I'll Dragon Claw. Because um, if he Sucker Punches Garchomp, he's just going to die. Okay, well he shouldn't have done that. I don't know why he wouldn't want to get the damage off on Rotom. I mean, like, it's a good thing. Retrospect is good for him. That was a good play. Should have gotten the damage off on Rotom if he could. Because that way he would have gotten both hits off. He must really not like Garchomp, so there's something in the back he's afraid of. A lot. My Rotom outspeeds, that's good to know. Here comes a Will-O-Wisp on the Garchomp. Every dollar in the book on it. Lum on Chomp is so strong. That and an item to one-shot other Chomp, your choice. Those are both good. That's going to put him within a double hit KO range, or after one burn turn, a Dragon Claw range. There's Talonflame. Definitely have two possibilities here. Rock Slide, throw Rotom into potential Thunderbolt range, kill Talonflame, try to finish up with Thunderbolt. However, my Thunderbolt's not that strong. Um, that also accepts damage from Brave Bird onto Garchomp. Better yet, I'm going to protect Garchomp. Garchomp's clearly the threat to his team. He's already shown that to me by Sucker Punching it twice. Like, that gave me a lot of information. Thunderbolt's heading on to Talonflame. Talon Neither of these two can really do anything to Rotom anyway. And I'll throw up a Protect. Okay, yeah. Woo! Garchomp, dude. The strong that is Garchomp. Chomp. You know, I don't know what that was. I'm sorry. So, good stuff, guys. Um, haven't hit another Smeargle yet. That's good. Uh, Kangaskhan is a threat. Good play. He had a great first turn play. He knew that Gyarados was not threatening anything. I realized this after I selected my move. Gyarados wasn't threatening anything. Why even mess with it? Agislash does not need to move if he fakes out Charizard. Definitely should have made us protected Charizard. Switched out to get the Intimidate in for later and switched in something to threaten, um... Agislash, that be all you know being that being said, switching in Garchomp would be the best because in case he did make a misplay and go after Gyarados with a fake out for whatever reason or misclick or whatever, he'll get the rough skin. Um, but after that, you know, baiting the the sucker punches, making sure that Kangaskhan was useless and just leaving it on the field. That's what you want to do. Also, knowing that his Agislash was there, if it wanted to take the earthquake, I knew it had weakness posse and I didn't want to activate it yet. 
Um, and if it didn't, it didn't want to take a free earthquake, so rock slide at that point was awesome. Got the flinch too, that was awesome as well. That saved me a lot of damage, a lot of health, so that's good stuff, guys. Um, don't ever, like, just a fast rock slide in itself is such a threat. It's just such a threat. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Tune in next time. We're going to keep going. And uh, tell me what you guys think about the team, if I should switch anything. Glad I finally got to use Gyarados, because, I mean, I put that on there. It's, like, really, like, I don't know what to put on here. And beat Sharpedo. Did some, we got the Intimidate off here, so that's pretty good. Um, but, yeah, see you guys next time.